everybody and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying Panda Express for I don't know how long it's been since I've had it and I'm kind of excited. It's windy today, Nick. I know, I hope like this sounds okay. No, I think it, there's no sound. It's not that bad. It, but it muffles a little, it. It muffles a little bit? Yeah. Should we move? I think we should move. This is this going to mess up the sound. Oh my god. Okay, you guys. So give us like a few, <laughs> few minutes. But what was that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're going to move into non-windy area. And but it's so beautiful out today. It didn't get windy until we started until filming. Until we started filming. All right, you guys. Welcome back. Nick. I watched, I don't know which video it was, I touch my hair like every two seconds. Oh, I t did I text you about it? I think you did. I did. And you I didn't realize, comments like, you literally, like, I'm texting, I'm going like, huh? And then, and then I think it was the one about um, the millionaire one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the one, the one where everyone commented was um, the one where you filmed by yourself the hall. Did I do that? Oh my, I did that with my hair too. Mm -hmm. So I need you to hang off my hands. I was going to actually tell you to have your hair up due today, but then I forgot. It's okay. I'm not going to do it anymore. It wasn't annoying, but it was annoying. Um, I did it again. I just went like that again. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to notice. Okay. So hold on, Nicolette's texting me, you guys. So I'm going to try not to touch my hair, you guys. All right. So in today's video, I'm so excited because I am trying Panda Express. Um, for the first time in a super, super long time. I can't even remember when I ate it last. I know I used to get it for the kids when they were little. They really loved it. Um, especially I think Blair, she would eat it like almost every day. But um, yeah, let's do that. And while I'm trying this, I got some clothes from Meshki, one of my favorite clothing brands. So I'll do a little haul for that. Um, so what'd you get me? What is this, teriyaki chicken? I got you teriyaki chicken, but there's the teriyaki's on the side. Thank you. Mm. I don't like socks, by the way. I don't either. I don't. So, and then what is this? Oh, is this chow mein? And just chow mein. What's the difference between chow mein and lo mein, or lo mein? I have no idea. What's well, the difference, you guys, between chow mein or lo mein? Because sometimes I order Chinese from like a new restaurant that I don't know. It says like lo mein or chow mein. I don't know which one to order. Is, is it the type of noodle? Is it bigger? No, I think it's crunchier versus soft. And I like soft. Oh. Can you guys let us know down in the comments below what is the difference between lo mein and chow mein? All right. I was gonna get you honey walnut shrimp. No, I would not have liked that. Really, it's so good. Really, I would not have liked that. Good thing I didn't spend $1.25 extra. Thank you so much for that. All right, you guys, let's go in and try it. Mm. Oh my God, it's actually really good. It's actually so, so, so good. Wow, as I'm eating it, Nick, show them what you're eating. <laughs> the same, I got you what I get. <laughs> Same thing with my walk. Oh, can't show the wallet. Who doesn't love a husband and wife team who are like twinning, like 24-7? Okay, what? I was going to get you also vegetables, but then she's like, oh, it only comes with chow mein and this. Do you want like a bigger plate? Right. And I go, oh no, my wife's, I said my wife is making lunch later, so we don't eat that much. <laughs> husband, I am making lunch later. Yes. All right, let's try the chicken. It's actually really delicious. Juicy. Mmm. Really good too. Really, really good, you guys. I would eat this again. Really good. Before I go into my next bite, let me just have some water. Which one of you guys loves Panda Express? I know that literally my kids were addicted um, when they were younger. Both of my kids, can I tell you guys something? I let both my kids grow me up because I studied psychology and behavioral psychology when I was at UCLA. That wasn't my major. So I learned that if you let kids sort of eat whatever they want, again, to an extent, when they're younger, they'll hit a certain age that they will want to choose healthier options going forward. So I did that with both Nicola and Blair. Whatever cereal they wanted, I got it for them. They wanted donuts, I got it. I got them Panda, McDonald's, whatever. And both of them around age 13, have you noticed like Blair has changed her eating habits mm -hmm. recently? Like you guys know Blair, you see like junk 24 seven. And right around 13, the same thing happened with Nicolette. She started eating healthy on her own. I mean, we have always eaten healthy, but you know, they would snack on junk food. And both of them started eating healthy right around 13, just on their own. Like if I ask Blair, what snacks do you want me to buy for you? It's all healthy, gluten-free, avocados. avocados. She eats avocado toast as a snack now. So um, is that true for all the psychiatrists or um, psychotherapists or psychologists out there? Can you guys let me know all the, nutri the nutritionists 
Um, all the nutritionists out there, please let me know if that's true or not. So I'm sort of glad that both my girls are eating super healthy and I love that. Okay, oh, I don't even know what I bought. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, these clothes, I think they come from Australia. So I buy stuff and then it comes like a month later, especially because of what's going on with the pandemic. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow, Nick, this is so nice. That's so cute. And you know, their quality is actually really good. So I got this and I got a size God help us, I got a size medium. No, it's perfect. It's really nice. The material is really nice. It's beautiful. And we'll definitely be wearing this for a picture and a couple of boomerangs. What do you think? That's, it's like, it almost looks like lingerie, but like sexy, like upscale where you it's can go true. out with it. Exactly. Well, I wear it with lingerie all the time. It makes no difference for yeah, me. Yeah, same. You know. Nothing. Yeah. So this is a really nice piece. And this chicken is super good. The feel of it is a little weird. Feel it? What is that, satin? I don't know. Satin? Let me see what it says. Mm. Color black, a satin mini dress, yeah. Mm. So this is a Ferris Sweetheart satin mini dress, size medium. I used to buy small, I've given in. I'm a medium. Let's see, let me drink some water. Thank you for getting me a Chinese, um, what do you call it? Um, fortune cookie. So you guys, this is a teriyaki sauce, but I'm not gonna try it because I already know it's gonna, I just don't like sauces and things. I like things really light. How about you, Me Nick? too. Like, you know how some people drench like some things in um, like lots of sauce, right? Or even salad dressing, you guys. I toss mine very light because I wanted to taste the lettuce, the tomato, the cucumbers. I don't want to taste the sauce, you know? Mmm. 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 So delicious. It's probably better than most Chinese, um, like gourmet Chinese places. Well, sometimes it, it's a little too oily. I Today like, it's not. Yeah, it's not. No. You know what's my Even most- Even like real like Chinese places. Mm -hmm. No, you know what's my favorite um, Chinese restaurant in Beverly Hills? Xi'an. Oh, Xi'an. No, I like Mr. Chow and Xi'an too. But Xi'an is more for takeout, mm -hmm. I think, you know? So I usually do that for delivery. Mr. Chow, I like to go sit there and eat there. Mm. I said, I think that's where you went for your 46th birthday. I did. I was watching I, that video today. Oh my goodness. I love Mr. Chow's. You know, they're closed right now. Hopefully just temporarily until like the pandemic is over. They were open for a little bit. They charge so much money and they only open until the end of time. <laughs> they are sitting on so much. They do charge a lot of money, but it's good. So we go. I used to go like when everything was open. I used to go like once a week, I think. Once or twice a week I used to go, Nick. I should take you there sometime, husband. Mr. Chow? Yes. Okay, let's see what I bought. I don't even remember. Oh, wow, this is so nice. It's like a bodysuit. So this is not the usual color that I get. No, but it's cute. But it's really cute. So I thought I'd wear this. I have um, black leather pants at home. So I thought I'd wear this with the black leather pants. Cute? Cute. Uber, uber cute. And take a look at the back. It's like this. Beautiful. And you know what? Now that I have your sister's um, boob tape mm -hmm. and the nipple covers, guess what? Oh, I we're not going to be in trouble way. anymore. What's the name of her store again? Impreza. Impreza. You guys all go shop from Impreza. Um, and a lot of people wanted me to give them a demonstration of how to use it. Go to her um, her TikTok. She'll show you how to use it better than I can. What's her TikTok again? Uh, shop Impreza. Shop Impreza. And we can't. We, it will YouTube will hate us. YouTube will hate us, you guys. And also she's like the best tutorial. Okay, so this is the Sita Metallic Cowl Bodysuit, size medium, Nick, and the color is chocolate. <clears throat> chocolate. Really? It, it, it looks more gold. It, more, it looks more gold, but they called it chocolate. And the material is so nice, feel. Mm. It's really nice. I love, uh, this is the brand name, you guys, Meshki. I really love their clothes because I just think they're very reasonably priced. And also... There you go, touching your hair. But this is the first time in a really long time, right, you guys? I don't know. I don't remember. Nick, you're going to love this That one. one's so heavy. It's so heavy. And I, I, I don't know if it's long or short. Or long. Do you like orange chicken? Because I was debating getting you orange chicken. I do like orange chicken, but I prefer this because to me, this is lighter. That's why I got I this. just like light food. I don't like anything that's going to make me heavy. I mean, to, I don't... I don't like to eat foods that are gonna make me feel heavy. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. It's just, it's not worth it for me. Why would I eat something to make me feel super heavy? What is this? Hold on, let me see. This is, oh, mm. I figured out. Okay, so it's like a little cute 
um, dress. It's like a little cute chain dress. Chain dress, that's the front of it. This is the back of it. And it has a liner right here because otherwise it'd be see-through. It is super heavy. So this is the <clears throat> Milani low back Diamante mesh mini dress in silver. And lucky for you, I got in a medium so you don't have to squeeze my big, uh, so you don't have to squeeze my body in this. Does it say price? Um, yeah, let me see. Oh, actually, I should have given you guys the price of everything else. Oh, yeah, everyone's been requesting prices. It doesn't, Nick. I was gonna say, I don't think Meshki shows it on here. No. But, no, I don't see anything. But this was priced. Let me show you guys a glimpse. <gasps> so cute, right? Oh, just really cute. It's so cute. We really lucked that's out with this. It's timeless, though. Well, you can always that's wear something them. that you can wear over and over and over again. Oh my god. Sorry, I don't mean to be so bad using my fingers. I'm gonna use this to like dry it up. People love that. Really? Mm-hmm. You want to see you get down and dirty with your food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Last but not least. Nick, what is your most favorite type of food? I really do appreciate Thai food a lot. Do you eat Thai food? I love Thai food. I haven't eaten it in a long time though. Their Thai salads are Really? Do you like peanut dressing? Not really. No, then you're not gonna like it. I mean I do like Thai. I'm not sure if I could say I love it. My most favorite food is probably, if it's not Persian, it would be Italian. But I like everything. I like Mexican food. I like um, it kind of Chinese. It depends on like what you're on My craving, you know? But which food could you eat day after day after day? I don't know. Mine would be American cuisine. Yeah. So when I was growing up in my household, we would have like all our meals would be Persian, right? Um, like all me all our meals would be Persian food. And I I don't know what it was in me. Maybe that's because all our meals were Persian. So if we went out to an American restaurant and I got a steak with a baked potato and a side of asparagus and a salad, that was like, wow, I could eat this every day. I don't know if it was because like I was sort of deprived. Now I'm not saying Persian food is depriving, but you know, it was just like, that's all we ate. <gasps> I know what this is. Is it the brown one? But... The brown one and black. How'd you guess? Because I remember you texted me that. Look at this. So you guys know if you haven't seen it, which I have a TikTok in it that I danced to an Armenian song, I believe. Was that mm -hmm. the one I danced to an Armenian song? Um, and so I got the black version of it because it just, I thought it looked so nice and it fitted my body so well. And let me see. And this is a size medium. Do you get embarrassed when you wear outfits more than once? Not at all. Why would I get embarrassed? I don't know, I was just curious. No, Pamela strapless faux leather dress. I don't get embarrassed about much. Cause I really, I don't know, from an early age, I really didn't care what anybody said about me. I've kind of just done my own thing. I stick to myself and I just do what feels right for me. Mm -hmm. So I've never been like, and you know how some people, they buy, I was talking actually to my, uh, like my colleague about this the other day, he's like, he asked me something like, do you buy fancy like clothes or purses or stuff like that because you want to show off to other women? I was like, actually, no, I've never done that. If I buy, if I go to buy something, it's because I like it and I do it for me. And it's never been to go to a party and show off, oh my God, look what I have. My designer bag is nicer than yours. I know a lot of people do that, but it's never been my thing. So look where I live or look what I drive. It's never been that. I got my Range Rover because I wanted it because I fell in love with it when I test drove it, you know? Do you know what I mean, Nick? Yeah. So I really want to let you guys know out there, that just do things for you. If you're saving up, um, I got a message from someone that's, who said, I am I think I'm a student of fashion or whatnot, something like that. Um, and what do you suggest I do with like, should I buy designer clothes, should I buy? And I said, you know what, you're young, you're a student, buy one nice thing that you will be like, wow, I love this so much, and then save the rest. So whenever I go shopping, and this is again from early on, I do it for me, and I've never ever like wanted to show off to anyone at all. It's not me, you know? But I know so many people do. Look where I live, and I know so many people who are in these like, big mansions, but they can't afford their mortgage, right? Or they're paying like interest only just to show off. I mean, why? Why? Like sell the house, go move it to a smaller apartment and enjoy your life. There's no reason to ever have to work to show off for other people. So to the what? critics who are going to say, then why do you do luxury hauls? For me. <laughs> what does that mean? Because I got things that I earned with my hard earned money 
that I got from me. But I do luxury hauls to show you guys, like look at this or look at that, or if you ever want to, if you ever, like when you save your money, buy this or don't buy that. That's why I do no. it to not to show off ever. I do it so you guys can kind of get a taste of different things, you know, whether you have it or not. Um, and I show you guys, like, look, I use this for this, or I buy this for this, or this dress is for this, you know? Like, this haul isn't, it's like four dresses, which I liked, which I wanted to get, you know? Um, not to say, oh, look at what I was able to buy. It's never like that. Never. Right. I do it basically for educational purposes, because I know a lot of you ask me, hey, Nina, like, how much was that? Or should I get this? And I actually get um, DMs, like. Yeah, like, from, like, um, I don't want to say his name, but someone asked you, like, about oh, the Chanel contact exactly or it's Chanel contact um, and I gave them my contact and I said here call her because she's so helpful and when you want to buy your Chanel item also I get DMs asking you guys Nina which um, purse should I buy or which pair of shoes should I get and I always try to give you guys um, what I like I try to help you guys so that's what it's about I don't think my hauls are necessary like show off look at me ha 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 it's just to all of us let's get together and enjoy like what I got, what you have, and let's help each other. That's what it's about. Ooh, I should enjoy my fortune cookie. Enjoy your fortune cookie one. Okay. What does your fortune say? Mine says great things happen outside of your comfort zone. All right, mine says you have exquisite taste. You do. What I do. Um, are you supposed to add in bed after that? That's what somebody told me years ago. <laughs> With that said, you guys, I love you all so much. Please follow my TikTok at Chef Nina Gray. Follow my Instagram at Nina Gray. Like, comment, and subscribe. And um, that's just it. Have fun, you guys. Enjoy life and keep... I forgot what I was going to say. Loving. Keep loving.